Alright guys, welcome to your 8th video and in this video I'm going to be styling the tables and links and hopefully some classes if we have time. But let's go ahead and get started with styling the tables. Now I know you guys are saying you're like, whoa man, my web designer just told me that tables shouldn't be used anymore because we have divs now. Well that's true and the reason that they usually say that because my web designer kept stressing that too is because people used to lay out their entire website using tables and this isn't the best way to do that however that doesn't mean you shouldn't use tables ever whenever you have a list of information to display such as a list of items tables can come really in handy and just to prove to you guys that I'm not just talking and I want to use tables to be lazy if you go to eBay or Amazon.com go ahead and look at their source code they use tables like crazy so like I said while it's not the best to lay, lay out your entire website you can utilize them in the way that we're going to utilize them perfectly so the first thing we want to do is we want to change the width of all tables to 100% and that is because we want them to fit exactly inside our box. Now, why do we have to specify this? Because by default, your table width is only going to be wide enough to fit the content. So if you have like a picture that's 200 um, pixels wide and you have two of them, then your table will be 400 pixels. But we want this to be evenly spaced. So you guys are going to see why this is important later on. The next thing I want to do is text align center what this is going to do is center align all the contents in your table now there are going to be times whenever we have like dates or something we may want it right aligned but we can uh, specify that later on whenever we're working strictly with the code so there is our overall table styling fit the area that we put you in and center align everything so the next is the table header which is basically um the titles for each column so for the color for these I'm just gonna make these hexadecimal 888 that's yeah, a pretty cool song for font weight and aside from um, headings table headings are also bold by default and I really don't like um, bold I want like a subtle gray look so I'm just gonna go ahead and put font weight normal and I'm also gonna put text decoration underline so what this is going to be is it's going to be a nice light gray underline font very artistic very beautiful might I add and the last thing I want to take care of is the table data so we pretty much have the overall table in the titles for each column now for each cell of that table basically I want to add some padding now the reason I do this is our table is not going to have a border and whenever we put a bunch of elements in there if we just stick them in there they're going to be pressed up against each other and they're going to look like one big mess so we want to give it some space around each cell so the table data the padding I'm going to write shorthand it's going to be 3 pixels 10 pixels now whenever you pass 2 pixels in your padding what it treats this as as the top and bottom padding is 3 pixels and the left and right padding is 10 pixels so we're gonna have a little bit of space up up and down and a lot of space left and right and those are pretty good settings I already messed with them a little bit so now it's time to mess with the links the first thing I want to do is style the overall plain old link the first link you see whenever you go to a web page so the color by default is this um, 006699 and the color of this is a nice oh well, I'll show you guys right here it's a nice blue like this so not dark blue not navy blue but just a beautiful delicious blue so the next thing I want to do is I want to put text oh, I got the freaking hiccups are you kidding me decoration equal to none now by default links have an underline so what I want to do is by default my links on my web page I don't like underline not many people underline them a whole lot anymore so by default they are not underlined however when you hover over them that's when it changes colors and underline so I really like the style of that and it's what some uh, big websites are starting to do now so another thing that I want to do is this is the main link pretty much the default link I also want this to be the visited 
link. I don't want my links to turn purple or anything whenever you visit them because it gets really uh, confusing and I just don't like it. So basically a visited link and a regular link are the same exact thing. The next thing I want to do is we have two more link states that we got to take care of. What happens when you hover over a link and as you're pressing down on that link it's called active. Now a lot of people like to turn this orange when you're hovering over it and like red as you're pressing down but I think that it kind of looks cheesy whenever you get a different color whenever it's active so I like to keep the hover and the active the same so let me go ahead and do that right now just like we kept the link and the visited the same we only make one property which is a hover now whenever you hover over a link how do you want this to be different than the normal link first of all we want the color to change we want it to change from blue to nice orange color so the color of that orange is CC6600 and aside from that we also want to change the text decoration let me just go ahead and steal this to underline so again let me stress that one more time whenever you hover over a link it's gonna turn orange and you're gonna get a nice underline that just gives the user a feel of you know what I'm actually interacting with something and the web page isn't broken something is supposed to happen that's what it is so there you go and aside from this I also want to copy this whole baby and make my links hover and active so basically whenever you press down on the link it doesn't change for a split second because I just think that's kinda cheesy so there you go there is the uh, styles for the table as well as all the links so in the next tutorial what I'm gonna be doing is there's a bunch of weird classes that we need to go over and aside from that with all the weird classes we also need to kind of set the main layout for the website what appears on the left what appears on the right so there's gonna be a few more videos on CSS and I promise you guys we will get into the good coding program and stuff soon but for now thank you guys for watching I'll see you next video